As Nigeria's entertainment sector continues to position itself as a major contributor to the GDP of the nation's economy, more comedians are showcasing their worth in a country that has a huge potential of turning talent into wealth. Trust me, they're making a lot of money. While some are involved in music, film, and theatrical productions on stage, others go solo on social media and events. As we celebrate Valentine's today all over the world, laughter is a very close associate of love. And joining us now is comedian Bukumi Adilani, properly known as Preacher. Welcome to the morning show. Thank you for having me. Now we're discussing the, you know, taking comedy as serious business. Now, okay. like I said in my intro, Valentine's Day, people expect, you know, to be showered with love and lots mm -hmm. of laughter. As a comedian in modern-day Nigeria, how do these two elements converge for you? Uh, well, for me, now you need to surprise your loved ones. You have a lot of events coming up later today. Mm -hmm. I have about two gigs lined up for myself. So we, are, we want to make you happy. A lot of we traffic, too, coming up tonight. Oh, yes. um, mm -hmm. Well, we'll be at the venue. You're the one coming to us. Mm -hmm. So uh, you, you get yourself yeah. to, the, to the venue. So it's yeah. a lot of... Um, if you live in Lagos, you just, if you don't have traffic, we'll not be scared. Going home without traffic in Lagos on a Friday evening. Life would be a whole lot better. You would park mm -hmm. and ask your neighbor, everything's safe. That's <laughs> the is, yeah. But really, for me, the business angle, for, as an entertainer, as a comedian, because, you see, whatever you do in entertainment, whether you sing, whether you dance, it's not the end in itself. It's only a means to an end. It's a business for us. I, I, I was a banker myself. I used to be a banker. I resigned to do this professionally. I couldn't keep up with two, so I had to drop banking. For mm -hmm. comedy. So, Good choice. Uh, um, Good choice. Mm, but how seriously are you taking this business, really? Is repetitive jokes? Oh, yeah. Uh, no innovation? The, yes. The, no, you Drop, keep sharing dry. Dry. jokes. It, it depends on who you listen to. Crash jokes. See, it, it depends on who you listen to. Mm. Now, um, it's, 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 a, it's a world... It's a, it's a lot of money. It's a billion dollar business. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to come in. The young, everybody just want to push into the mm. industry whether you're funny or not. Now, it's okay, so the issue of using jokes, uh, I understand that people get tired about these things. Mm. Oh, I've seen this one before, I've heard this one before, but the new guys will have to borrow from the old guys just to, you know, like you do, you do music, yeah. you want to test your stuff, but at some point you need to grow. That's why you know the originality, you know the people that can evolve. I, I for one, said I had to resign banking to do this. If it's not working for me, I would not do that. So it depends on who you listen to. And you clearly cannot blame comedians now. The content, the consumers, what do you request for? Who do you listen to? Who do you follow? Um, some people know that when they mention some things, that's when you laugh. You would... Yeah, so, so, I mean, I mean that, that's valid, but I, I think the point here is you, an industry has started right, uh, but, but it's an industry that has been... Truncated. I mean, it's been it, it's been on self destruct in the you seem it, no. Hang on a minute. In, in the sense, in the sense that we know the pioneers of this industry. Mm -hmm. I know Alibaba very well. I mean, anything even called serious business or comedy there was Alibaba when he first took a billboard in the nineties and said, you know, comedy is serious business. Yes. But apart from that, like in the top crop. The jokes don't pass on anything. It's all crass. The no, comedy no, no, shows... No, 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 hang on a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm still asking, please. Okay. The comedy shows are monotonous. I've got tons of tickets. I've stopped going for them. They wouldn't start on time. There's nothing professional about it. And you look and say, that's not the way comedy is being done in other parts of the world. I mean, you said you resigned from the bank. Jim Carr, one of the biggest you know, comedians in Britain, resigned from Shell. Mm. So, so can, I, can I respond to that now? Yeah. Now, you see... Again, who do you listen to? I train under Teddy Babyface. Mm. Teddy Babyface trained under Alibaba. Now, some of these guys just come up social media because they are following us. There's a breaking news. news. The Independent National Electoral Commission has just rose from a meeting during which it deliberated on the Supreme Court verdict on the governorship of Biosa State. On the back of that meeting, the commission has decided to issue the certificate of return to the PDP governorship candidate, Senator Duo Duri, at noon today. More details in our subsequent bulletin. In case you didn't catch that, we'll tell you once again, there's been a breaking news that the Independent National Electoral Commission has just rose from a meeting during which it deliberated on the Supreme Court verdict of the governorship election of Bayasa State. On the back of that meeting, the commission has decided to issue a certificate of return to the PDP governorship candidate, Senator Duyo Diri, at noon today. More details in our subsequent bulletins.
right then. So to return to you. Okay, to me. Now, it's, it's about, do you, are you even trained at all? Mm. Because people believe that, okay, it's comedy. I have talent. The fact that you're funny doesn't make you a comedian. Now, one thing I noticed that Teju will always armor for us then is excellence. If it's not good, you don't push it out. Mm. If it's not good, you don't do it. And um, he, he created one of the biggest pl show platforms in Africa, Teju Baby Face Show. Mm. And I had to help to co-produce the show at some point with him. I didn't go to a production school, but I learned that working with him. He learned that working with Alibaba. Mm. So with Baxter, so you should ask questions. Who are these people? The fact that you have one million followers doesn't make you a comedian. Mm. It doesn't make you a comedian because you can buy these things. If you have a, 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 a big friend, someone that is influential, shame, they can make you popular. In a day, you can be popular. Yeah. So that does not make you a comedian. So which show are you going? I, I have my own show on Sunday. I said starting for four. By four o'clock, if you like, by table. If you are there, mm. by six, you will meet us where you meet us. Yeah. We're starting the show by four. Let me come in here. Let's talk about like the, the culture of comedy. Now we've talked, we, you know, you're talking about the fact that you know certain generations, almost like it's been, they've been trained from generation to generation. However, if you look at comedy culture, we don't have. There's no standard place. Let's take Lagos for example, mm -hmm. where we have like a comedy club. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look at, you look at where comedy, you know became really popular in the United States. We have places like the Laugh Factory, yes. you know, certain places that no matter what, even these up-and-comers know that they can come there and test their products. Mm -hmm. And even in the same space, meet with some of these icons, people that have made a way in the, in the in comedy industry. Why is it that we don't have anything like that? And we don't have anybody... Whatever is happening to everybody in Nigeria is affecting comedians too. That's why I would not agree with the self destructive because we're actually self-building. Now, the comedy industry is just still loading. Maybe like 30%. Still ringing. <laughs> We're just still loading. Mm. Maybe like 30%. We are getting to create our own platforms. I, this year alone, I have my own show created. I had to pay for my... You know how much it takes to produce a sitcom? You do that yourself. Alibaba is doing spontaneity. Mm. It, 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 it has a show to like that. We are creating for ourselves. Mm. So these things, the comedy club, we have a lot of... I have friends that run comedy clubs. In Lagos, they have to pay for the oil. You know how much that costs in Lagos? But the government does not have... And it's... See, we should all agree that government should know that entertainment is contributing a lot to this country. Then we should begin to invest towards that. Because we, are, we have to build things ourselves. So uh, we don't have this comedy club. We don't have a factory like they do over there. We, we are creating ourselves. So it's self-developing, not destructive. We are still loading. So, in the advent of social media... Let's talk yeah. about um, your show, uh, time, date... Oh, my show is um, Sunday, this Sunday, um, 16th of February. Uh, it's a family show, mm -hmm. you know, everybody's allowed. It's, it's a clean joke. Mm -hmm. Your children are allowed to come in. So, um, 16th of February, I'm telling my story, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, from Ibadan to Lagos to being a banker to resigning. So, I have a lot of my friends coming around. Arule, Ashiri, Dr. Smile. Uh, you would have them around. Not sometimes not the most popular, them, but the best of the best. Mm. I'm sure of that. More often than not, you hear comedians talk about uh, things happening in Nigeria, the jokes about Nigeria. They are the same things we've been hearing years after year. Do you internalize these things into your joke? And let me ask you: Is the Buhari administration a good era for comedy in Nigeria? Um, personally, I don't um, deal with comedy. Uh, with Politics, rather. I don't deal with politics. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I'm not not the Buhari administration. I'm not particularly happy with the Nigerian okay. government. So okay. We, we I don't understand. Thank, so, thank you so much for coming on the show today. And that brings us to the end of the show uh, this morning. Many thanks for watching. I am Adesua Omoroyan. I'm Rafael Yosini. And I'm Shaito Asigari. Thank you so much for watching from our entire team here in Lagos. You can follow us on all our social media handles showing now on the screen you can also watch us on arise.tv